Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about my trip to Romania. We're going to be talking about the B-side in Transylvania and all that good stuff. So stay till the end and let me express my appreciation and gratefulness for that trip. So let's get into it. All right, folks. So we're just on the website. I just want to showcase, you know, some of the sponsors, some of the affiliates that were associated with this, uh, the trip and the event. So if you guys were there and you guys saw me, I'm really grateful to have met so many people and the warm welcome, it was amazing. So if you just go to, you know, bsidetransylvania.com, you can see everything here and you'll see obviously what B-Sides are all about. If you guys haven't been to a B-Side, it's all about a nonprofit talking, helping folks, helping people get into the world of cybersecurity and just networking with folks and you never know who you can meet, right? I had the opportunity to meet so many smart individuals including the CEO of this, but we'll get into that shortly. So like it says here, you know, it's one of the most influenced cybersecurity conferences and technology shows, right? It was amazing. And, you know, you meet so many information security professionals, ethical hackers, you know, and well-known security experts around the world. And I met some really smart folks. So it was, it was awesome. So obviously the event is over, right? But this was the agenda, which was really cool. We got the, the speakers and I'm over here, but we'll get into that shortly. Some of the workshops that we were part of, this was really cool. And you know, how to become, how to catch a hacker 101. That was pretty cool. And you know, all that good stuff. So Black Hill Security was there, which was awesome. And they held this CTF. I believe they held it and it was really, really fun. And uh, so who were the sponsors, right? So if we go to here and go to sponsors, I just want to say big, big shout out to Zero Tech, right? Awesome. The CEO, which is Christian, amazing human being. And I have to say thank you so much. If you ever watch this or anyone on the team, I want to say thank you. And I express this so much to you guys. So thank you for the warm welcome. Palo Alto and some of the gold here, you know, I met some folks from some of these organizations, so it was just amazing. And the Silver Partners, Hack5, and all this good stuff. And you can see the partners here, you know, some of the government, pro uh, some of the government sectors there, Hack Out, Cybersecurity, Cluster of Excellence, and so many more, EC Console, so many cool stuff, right? So much cool stuff. And I'm still a little jet lagged, I'm not gonna lie. I got in yesterday, and so, excuse me. So some of the other supporters, right? You know, some of the other B-sides around the world. And yeah, hopefully I can go to a B-side Barcelona. That would be cool. I've never been to Spain, but um, Frankfurt would be cool too. And so many others, right? So obviously, if you guys aren't familiar with B-sides, I explained that a little bit, but B-side is just an excellent event to go to. I went to B-side and I spoke at a one, you know, a little talk in, in Orlando last year. I'll be going to next week. I'll be going to B-side Tampa. And it's just an amazing, amazing event for locals. And obviously to be part of a first, you know, event for B-Side Transylvania was such an honor, right? That was their first that they ever held. And um, I'm so, you know, so grateful to be part of helping them prior to even doing the event, being a part of the back end of what goes into it. So that was amazing as well. So thank you for the team for allowing me to even be there to help you guys. So thank you. And, uh, you know, it was in Kalush in Romania, and that was the first time that I was there. And I have to say the food was good. The people were awesome. And it was such, such a, I can't express it like a cool feeling, right? When I'd never been to Eastern Europe. So when I went there, you know, from an American's perspective, we have that thought, okay, like maybe that's not safe. We don't know what to expect. I have to say. It was the safest place, probably safer than here where I'm at or New York or wherever. Um, we were, me, Kevtech, um, and so many others, we were just walking around the streets one, two in the morning and look, I'm still alive. So uh, I gotta say, super, super grateful for that. So obviously, where you can you get the tickets? You can't get the tickets anymore and, and all this stuff. So you can just go to the website and poke around. And <clears throat> that's my ugly face. So yes, I run a, you know, obviously InfoSec Pat, I'm the founder and, you know, CEO of that. So this is a little bit about me and about my speech, right? So I spoke on how to become a penetration tester. How can you get into the field of 
pen testing, cybersecurity, and I went into some other rants as well, some stories. But if you want to go get your PJPT or PMPT, OSCP, and all these other certifications, I was trying to show you how you can do all this for least amount of money as possible, right? CTFs and home labs and getting your hands on this technology in order to be successful, right? When, when you say I'm a pen tester, people say I'm a doctor, right? What kind of doctor are you? So when you're a penetration tester, the same thing, you know, what kind of pen test are you? Are you a pen tester? Are you pen testing mobile apps, APIs, a web app, networks, you know, uh, I was gonna say clowns, planes, I'm still, like I said, I'm still the jet like cars, anything that has a connection to an internet, you know, IOT devices, you can, you can probably hack, right? So getting into CTFs, getting a home lab, getting your Kali Linux box up, installing some applications and stuff like damn vulnerable web app, you know, Metasploitable 2, Voln Hub machines, setting up a firewall and Windows server. That's super critical because 99% of the servers out there or the networks are Windows, right? So AD, Active Directory, DNS, and all that good stuff. So I spoke about a lot of stuff and a little story on how I got into the field. But, you know, you guys are watching this, so you've probably found this on YouTube. So I have obviously my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I was just, I just want to say the food was excellent. The people where I stayed was super safe. And I just want to put this out there just for anyone, right? So let's just jump back onto my face so we can, uh, when we, so we can talk here. So I want to say, you know, thank you to Zero Tech, to the whole Transylvania uh, experience that I had over there, the team, and even the people that picked me up from the airport from Zero Tech to, you know, the end of the day when I left, the, you know, going out, showing me around town, showing everyone around town, but I'm just speaking on my behalf. And um, I got to say, I want to say this little story, right? So Thursday night, I got in, right? Or Wednesday night, I, I think Thursday night. I don't remember what night, but we got in and obviously it's six hours ahead, right? So it was like 3 p.m. for me and it was like 9 p.m. over there. And, you know, I went out with KevTech. We got some food. We came back. We're like, oh, let's try to get some rest so we can wake up on. Oh, yeah, it was on Thursday night on Friday to be rejuvenated and go hang out. What happened was KevTech went to go play pool, whatever he went to go do, and I got lost. I was just wandering around the city. And I just want to say this. I got lost. Number one, they do speak English there. You know, a lot of people speak English. And the person, I was lost and I just had a picture of my hotel, right? I just took a picture before I started wandering off so I know where I'm at. Meanwhile, I don't know where I'm at. And I went to go get some food and get something to drink. And I got lost, right? I know I said I got lost 10 times. But I asked this person and... He was a little older, so I was a little like, oh man, hope he understands me. But I had my phone, so I can use Google Translate. So I said, do you know where this is? And he knew exactly, I guess, it, you know, Kalush is pretty small, I guess. He walked me to where the event was. Where the event was, I know how to get back to the hotel. But where I was, I wandered off and I didn't know how to get back because I went down some streets. And he walked me, literally he walked me to that street where the, uh, where the, um, where the event was and then i knew right up the road up the hill was my hotel so i gotta say the people were so amazing and i couldn't be more grateful to be a part of the num you know number one uh b-side in transylvania so i want to say thank you christian diana alan all the other folks that were there that you know made this happen for me so thank you and uh yeah, if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments. And if you have any questions you want to talk about it, hit me up on Discord or wherever else you guys want to talk to me and I can tell you a little more. But I don't want to talk for an hour. I just want to say my appreciation and my, you know, it was an honor. So thank you.